Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Karen. I've been a professional actress and voiceover artist, occasional model and presenter for nearly 20 years. And I'm going to share with you my five tips today on how you can be successful in this rather tricky industry. And also these five points are kind of things I try to work on regularly to, well, to keep up with the game. So my first one is be persistent. What I mean by that is don't give up too quickly. It took me several years until I started getting some really interesting roles and being represented by good agents as an actress and voiceover artist. But you know, if you keep trying, if you keep working hard, it usually pays off. So don't give up too easily. Next, be versatile. What I mean by that is Try and work in as many different fields as you can connect it to acting. Um, in my case, for example, I've worked in theater, I've done many short films, independent films, television, commercials, corporate films, presenting work. I've worked as an actress for motion capture work, which is for computer games. Um, what else? Well, like I said, I've done some modeling. Um, yeah, so just try and think of as many different fields you can work in as an actress and like I say voiceover artist is uh, something that's commonly done by actors but many actors don't work in it it takes a long time as well to establish yourself in this field so the sooner you start thinking about versatility and trying to you know spread your skills and also um, learn something new the more chances you have to work and to make new contacts Next point, it's a pretty obvious one, but sometimes we can forget it because it's not always easy, but you have to be confident, of course. If you're gonna to go to casting and you're feeling uncertain about yourself and your qualities, well, you're not going to shine, are you? And you're not going to make the casting director or the film or theater director believe in you. So just trust in the fact that you are well prepared which is the next point <laughs> um, and believe in yourself you know you're not always going to be right for the part but you have to trust that you have something to offer and go in with a smile and that you're just as good as everyone else and that's the only way how you can go forward because if you're not believing in yourself no one else will the next point I just already mentioned is be prepared what I mean by that is Again, something that seems obvious, but some people seem to be missing out on, on so many things related to that. Um, okay, so let's say you are lucky and you finally have that casting. Obviously, everyone is going to expect that you think about your character, your role, that you learn your lines, that you're going to be on time and make an effort, you know. Um, I always think about how would this character dress um, even in a commercial casting, um, if it's going to be, I was at a casting this morning for um, an executive, obviously I would wear a jeans jacket, I had a black suit jacket on. Um, if I was going for a seductive woman, I'd probably style my hair and, and do different makeup. Um, I've played a blind woman before, well she wouldn't wear makeup, would she, because she can't see herself. So think about every single detail that can help you to be truthful in the character from hair to makeup to clothes to the way you speak to the way you move all that is your preparation work and all that will increase your chances to get booked in the end um, something else that comes into uh, this subject is um, being prepared means also having a good online profile meaning have your own website have good show reels work with professional photographers for your um, headshots and full body shots so people take you seriously this is what I had to learn as well. When I was younger, I obviously didn't have the same financial means as now. And obviously sometimes you think, oh, that's really expensive to pay this much for, um, say, a professional photographer or maybe to get a showreel done, but it's worth it. Whenever I have invested money into my career, whether that's for my website, my pictures, or um, like I say, just Im improve business cards, CV, anything like that, or just for training, it will always pay off. So be willing and ready 
to invest some money into your career and time and energy obviously as well and it will pay off in the end. Last but not least, don't forget to be positive. I know very well myself that it can be disappointing and hard um, to accept when you aren't selected for a part. Um, it's very upsetting sometimes when you've put in energy and time to do all what I just told you to do, learn your lines, be prepared, and you feel you were right for the role. But don't forget there are many others who've done the same job as you, and at the end of the day, it might just boil down to the director, you know, feeling like someone a little taller, a little bigger, smaller, or just with a different look suits the character more. It's nothing against you personally, and that's what we always have to remember. And if you stay positive, you're gonna attract new projects. People will, you know, feel attracted to your energy, and that's the only way forward. So, I wish you lots of luck, and if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm to be found at actress Jennifer Karen. Take care for now, and remember, stay positive.